For Pyotr Pavlinsky, this was an act of performance art. But from the viewpoint of the French government, setting fire to the Bank of France at Place de la Bastille in 2017 was a crime. He declared the bank a symbol of modern-day tyranny and spent almost a year in jail for the stunt. Now he's turning his attention to French politicians, publishing online a sexually explicit video of candidate for Paris mayor Benjamin Griveaux, who has since quit the race. He despises his constituents. He was the only candidate to use his family to promote a political image. He told a big lie. He began his campaign with a big lie. He was a big hypocrite. France granted Pavlinsky asylum from Russia in 2017, where he had gained notoriety for a series of shocking acts of self-mutilation, including nailing his scrotum to Red Square and sewing his lips shut in support of the Russian punk group Pussy Riot. Once in France, he shifted the subject of his critique from Russia to Western democracies. His latest target is what he calls the hypocrisy of politicians. But his online attack on Griveaux could come with consequences. Griveaux's attorney is preparing a lawsuit. What do we have that is more precious than our private lives? You, me, everyone here, even the cameraman, who can accept for their private life to be exposed? Pavlinsky may also face legal trouble in connection with the brawl at a private party in Paris last month, where he's accused of being armed with a knife and injuring two people. As for his latest project, he's unmoved by legal threats and says he has a number of other incriminating videos of others he's preparing to release.